Hi, this is Charlie from Path of the Bee. In this video, I'm going to continue my building a bee loader series. Today, we're going to work on the hub for the swivels. This is the hub that I had off the old plow I scrapped out. Um, it's pretty heavy duty. It may be trashed. We're going to tear into it and see if it's going to be a usable component. Let's get started. Okay, so I got this thing tore apart and discovered that it's just not going to work. And uh, so here's a nice strong hub and I think that it will work for what we're doing. Um, and, uh, and so I also grabbed a wheel and I'm going to build my, uh, my cradle for my boom out of this wheel. Okay, so I've got my cradle built now. Uh, I did a, a few things. I welded in that old ear. Um, so I got to keep the rotational forces down and I've made a couple of ears um, and I'll bend up a, a U-bolt to help clamp it down. I'm going to bend the U-bolt as a piece of uh, half inch all thread and then because it, you know, the thread is sharp and I don't want it to wear and cut into the tube, I've got some piece of half inch garden hose here that I'll, I'll uh, put over the top of it to protect the tube so there should be the thread sticking out the ends of the U-bolt. Um, I'll go ahead and weld this to the wheel and I'm going to orient it so that I can get in and uh, tighten the lug nuts into the hub and uh, I'll go ahead and do that next. this fits in here just like this and uh, I think maybe I will also before I you know put it together finally I'm going to cut a little couple pieces of that hose and uh, tuck in here where before I clamp it down give it a little extra cushion to keep it from being metal on metal as it's uh, moving and won't rub a hole in it and cause a crack so then the few bolts that we make will go in the ears right over the top and uh, Hold it down here and here, and then the hub will come up from underneath in the center there. After watching the last video, segment three, when I was kind of sitting on the end of this boom watching it, and this is flexing pretty good. So what my ideas are, are this. First of all, I'm going to run a, a couple of feet or a foot and a half uh, little post up here, and then I'm going to run a solid piece out and anchor it in here far enough back that the hinge won't fit into it, hit it, and then come back here and anchor it. That'll make some kind of triangulation, so as it pulls on that, it'll have to pull the back up. And then, underneath here in the back, down to the wheel, I'll hook a piece of chain with a binder on it to tighten it up. So, basically when I'm putting all that force out there, it's transferring up through here, down through here, and then back to the wheel. So it'll be, a, the force will end up being in the center, and that will greatly reduce the, the up and down flex this way on that boom. The rotational stuff, we're just going to have to hope that the roundness is going gonna, is gonna to do its job. Another thing that I, consideration I had was seeing this flex was that this is definitely not good enough for, you know, the, the main upright. I had anticipated maybe using it and then going back off of these things. Then that takes up a bunch of trailer space. I rooted around in my farm and I found a I have a piece of 14 inch, uh, half inch thick wall pipe about 10 feet long that uh, I had absolutely no use for. I've contemplated a haul into the scrapyard many times and uh, I hate to because it's such an expensive piece of metal um, but it's going to work perfect for this project so I'm glad I saved it and uh, that'll be just about the size of this wheel here um, underneath so we can manufacture a lock system to keep it from swiveling while we're going down the road and uh, things are going to work out real great. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on figuring out what we need to do with the hub here underneath and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I, I put the hub in here. I got this flipped upside down. The hub spins around nice. This is going to work good. What I, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my junkyard and uh, root around and see if I can find some thicker plate 
and I'm going to cut a couple of half circles out, and then I'm going to I'm going to scribe the profile of this into that and trim it out to where those two plates will fit together and completely make a circle here. Um, so I'm going to head out to the junk pile and uh, see what I can find. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and we'll catch you next time.